We are collaborating with Lynn from l and Goods and Debbie from Debbie's Design Diary. Debbie sent me parts of leftover transfers. Yep. I sent Lynn leftover parts of my transfer from last week and we're all doing videos on the new IOD transfers that are on pre-order now. If you want to find these other videos, we're going to have a playlist with just these three videos in it and you can find that link in the description of this video. We're super excited to be using the new IOD transfers. This is the June Ode to Henry Fletcher and it's awesome. It's got some really good florals in here and we've got some scraps left over that she sent us that we're going to be using on our projects. We're going to do them quick. Traveling transfer scraps. You're going to see three different projects that can be done just in a matter of minutes. Okay, so this is a mirror that we used at the bottom of the stairs in our old house and it hasn't found a spot here yet. We're using the largest piece that Debbie left for us on the mirror. Um, using transfers on an IOD mirror is considered off-label use um, because you cannot seal them, but we have done this many times and it's worked out just great. When you do go to wash your mirror, don't put any harsh chemicals directly on the transfer, but you can spot clean your transfer and get any smudges off um, in other areas. Like right here, there's a smudge. So this has already been painted apothecary. Every IOD transfer comes with one of these sticks to apply it. If you ever lose your stick, I've been known to use like a spoon or a spatula. You can feel the crackle and then if you lift up and it's not all the way down, just put it back down and then you can rub it with a stick again. Oh, see right there how it wasn't quite done. I missed the spot. I just pushed it back down, went right back over it. As long as you don't shift your transfer, you shouldn't be able to tell that it cracked or peeled apart. Well, Deb's doing that. I'm gonna come in with clear wax because we actually never wax this. <laughs> I'm horrible about not waxing stuff. And this is gonna go in the shop now. So sometimes when we're designing things, we have extra corbels left over, scraps. Every now and then there's what we like to call seconds if they're just not gonna work like we want them to. I should probably send the date off this one while you work on that. Oh, oh. I also cut this in half, so this is ready to go now. All right. I've never done this on raw wood, so we'll see how well this goes. Just like any project when you're using transfers, dust free as much as possible. It's breaking off pretty good. These new transfers, the backers on these flat pack transfers are amazing. This we did some sanding, so I wanna make sure that it's dust free. Any dust is gonna make it so that transfer does not adhere well. I didn't realize that these are so awesome that they're designed to slip up in next to each other like that, so that it makes one solid word and design. So I'm just gonna do that on this one and we'll carry it over. It won't be quite centered, but it's okay, it gives it an organic feel, that's what we'll call it. Organic. We're gonna distress it, it'll be fine. Same thing with this piece that Debbie gave me, I cut in half on the grid line, so one half will fit here and one half will fit on this side. Hold on, I gotta line this up. I feel like right there's pretty good. Now that this side's done, I'm just gonna take a piece of the transfer and do what we call burnishing. I'm just making sure that every little piece of transfer is really stuck down. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna come in with sandpaper and just age this. Can you open this up? Every time. If you don't have a Zeb, run this edge under warm water and that'll kind of release it. <laughs> DIY's Old and Gray is just a great way to get a barnwood patina on new wood, and we are going to seal it and age it all in one step. So it's easy to brush on, it's not gonna choke you up, and you can wash your brush with soap and water when you're done. We transferred it first, and now we're gonna seal it and age it over the top of the transfer. Hopefully it's magical, I don't really know. I've never done this before. I feel like we got a little bit of magic going. Magic. I'll come wipe that back as soon as you're done and swap you. It looked like most of the transfer was gone, and now oh, it's that's back. that's good, I like that. And with anything, wood is going to take stain differently in different spots. Like right here, we've got a little bit tighter grain. There's a knot, the end of a knot right here, so it took it a little bit more. And that's what we love about using natural woods and things because you get that tone variation 
and it just looks like it's been around for a long time. Our last little project, we've got this antique blue bottle. It's got a little imperfections, cracks, things like that, but it, we're gonna go with this, still plenty strong. I think it's a great backdrop for this and allows us to take something that's kind of plain and make it a little extra, and we are using every last uh, scrap situation. So I think this actually fits on here like this. So now we can put that on top. This is gonna be hopefully as easy as the mirror, but doing a rounded surface is always a little trickier. If you don't have someone to hold it, you can get like a dish towel or something, roll it up and put it on each side of it. And that usually works pretty well. The other thing that's really great about this project in collaboration is in a world where everybody has kind of been separated for a while, I love that you can like use part of a product, send it to somebody else, you can get different looks and it's a way to connect. Connect over junk and crafting. Who doesn't love it? We called it the sisterhood of the traveling transfer, but we got one brother. <laughs> it's fine, I'm just the film crew and, and the transfer all the round things guy. You're good at moving stuff. All right, almost done. Again, this is off-label use. If you wanted to, you could seal over the top of this. I'm not going to because I don't generally scrub my bottles. So a little light spot dusting. Okay, Oops. so that's what I was talking about earlier. Don't don't shift. We're gonna give it an antique look here. A little light spot dusting and it'll be fine. Well, I think it's also because it's curved there. It's yeah, it's curved all kinds of ways right here. We'll distress it a little bit to age it, just like the bottle. I always like to burnish it with my hand a little bit, just make sure there's no air bubbles or anything, especially on something like this. You can use a paper towel or whatever. Okay, so let's put this down on the bottom here, and then we'll add this flower and be done. I love to layer transfers. So this is the edge of the words that were on the transfer that I was working on. On the corbel? On the corbel, yeah. So that they're not complete, but we most old labels aren't complete anyway, so we're just trying to get a little typography on here. Lastly, I'm just gonna burnish this, make sure it's really, really adhered to my bottle. Sandpaper. We're gonna white wax it to add some more age and get down in all the nooks and crannies of the wood. I wax, you wipe? Yep. All right. This process I'm doing over here isn't necessarily really wiping it back. I'm just making sure it's really on there nice and even and sits down in the cracks like we wanted to. Super fast, easy projects. I think we spent maybe five to 10 minutes most. This one might've taken us 10 minutes total because it had the most steps, but really quick projects. Easy, inexpensive things that you might have around the house. Next time you have some leftover transfer bits, share them with your friends. If you want to pick up the products you saw used today, you can visit jamierayvintage.com. All of these items finished will be listed on our home website, jrbhome.com. So if you want to buy these projects, we'll drop those links below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jane Marie Vintage for more DIY. Make sure you watch that playlist if you want to see some more awesome ideas and videos. I'm using the new IOD transfers.